here with reaction. Lieutenant Colonel Oliver North is with us. Colonel, you know what? You fought in Vietnam. You were in Afghanistan. You were in Iraq. You, you, you are proud of the fact that you have spent your life with heroes. You are one of them. In my lifetime, I can't think of a time that it's been this dangerous, and I'm including the Cold War here, and my dad spent four years in the Pacific. The, the threat of, I think, real-world chaos and a possible world war is more, I think that's more possible than at any point in my lifetime. Am I wrong? No. In fact, what we just heard from the vice president a few moments ago, that the, the strategy is don't. Don't is not a strategy. You know, you and I were together last week, and we offered advice on how the Biden administration could deter Iran from starting a multi-front war on our ally Israel. As yet, none of that's been done. And so tonight, a little bit more free advice for the Biden, Biden administration. How to solve the problem of freeing more than 230 American, Israeli, French, German, Italian, Egyptian, and other nationality held hostage by Hamas and Islamic Jihad in Gaza? Mr. Biden ought to go on national TV and announce he has conferred with Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu and ordered the immediate deployment of a thousand bed hospital ship, USNS Comfort, from Norfolk, Virginia, to station it 13 miles off the coast of Gaza, adjacent to the, the Rafa crossing, which is the only place people can get in and out of, of, of Gaza as long as President. Al Sisi allows them to. Right now, it's still closed. Look, it's just north of the border crossing, in the in the Suna, in the Sinai, Egypt. Esbet al Sagal is is a place where you could station that vessel off that shore. The USNS Comfort will be available to treat Palestinian women and children in need of medical care, and Mr. Biden needs to call President. Abdul al-Fattah al-Sisi, and invite him to allow the 26th Marine Expeditionary Unit to utilize the port at Esbet Abu Shakal and the Al-Arish International Airport in Sinai that we have used for, to support them, the international United Nations uh, monitoring uh, operation out there, and establish a triage there for processing the transporting of the sick and injured and infirm Palestinian women and children out to the USNS Comfort for medical treatment. Our Navy and Marines have the helos, the MV-22s, and the experience of ship-to-shore vessels and movement necessary for this task. He should also direct Secretary of State Blinken to notify representatives of the government of Qatar to inform Hamas that with, with whom that they are in direct contact. We expect that for every five Palestinian women and children treated aboard the hospital ship, at least one hostage will be released each time. There are, of course, many details to be worked out on this kind of humanitarian mission. The sea transit from Norfolk to Gaza is about 5,500 miles. At 20 mm -hmm. knots, the hospital ship could be on station in less than 14 days. By then, details can be ironed out so that this life-saving endeavor can get underway. I can almost assure you that there's nobody who wants to do such a thing in this administration, but they should. And we ought to assure Prime Minister Netanyahu this is not being done to stop the IDF from continuing their counterattack on Hamas terrorists who murdered 1,400 Israelis on October 7th. Al Sisi must be convinced yeah. to invite the U.S. Marine Corps and U.S. Navy mission ashore in the Sinai coast. And we ought to assure leaders of Israel and Egypt that we will provide accurate identity information to the International Red Cross and the Red Crescent for every Palestinian flown out to the hospital ship. Now, what's going to happen to the Palestinian civilians after their medical treatment? That can be worked out. It's the kind of thing that people ought to, ought to want to do. The positive information management of this humanitarian effort should help prove to those instigating those pro-Hamas protests you just had on the screen on college campuses around well, the world this. that America, Israel, and Egypt can act to protect innocent human life in the midst of war. Go ahead. I want to save them, but I'll add one thing, Colonel. Your idea is a great idea. Um, they want lights back on. They want cell service. Uh, they want any sort of humanitarian assistance to, at all, which I'm skeptical of. They've got to release every hostage. That's it. Otherwise, Israel must defend its homeland. Colonel, we appreciate you more than you know. No, Thank I, you, I'm sir. Saying, 
I yeah. say Israel's got to continue to do that. God bless you. Semper Fi. Semper Fi, my friend. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.